here's quick intro about Andrew. So Andrew is the founder behind accountingtax.com. It was founded in 2015 with the goal of helping people start and grow their own accounting tax and financial consulting firm and become better accountants. Since its inception, using online and offline methods, accounting tax has helped over 8,000 accountants in 16 countries. And in just a few years, the team has grown to 35 plus people. And it looks like it's, it's growing. I was on the site earlier, which is phenomenal. The national publication, Accounting Today, twice recognized him as one of the top 100 most influential people in the accounting profession, ones to watch. Andrew, super excited for this presentation. Uh, real quick, if anybody's seen an ad from Andrew, put it in the chat right now. If you see anything that Andrew's ever done, go ahead and type it in the chat if you've ever seen an Andrew argue accounting tax ad. And with that, Andrew, I'll let you take it from here. Love it. Now, do I just, I can share my screen on this? Yeah, go ahead and share your screen. You're in the driver's seat and we're just going to sit back, learn and take a bunch of notes. Love it. So I don't go widescreen on the uh, slides for some reason. I always just kind of share like this. So we're going to go through it. So guys, um, I'm going to share, you know, what I think. And I only, I've only got a few minutes. Normally I do these presentations for hours and hours, but I've only got a few minutes. So I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible. So if I talk quickly, hopefully they're passing out the recording and you can watch this on like a half a speed. Okay. But I basically over the last couple of months have built out uh, you know, my team, myself, my clients, basically a way for us, many of us to, depending on your situation, actually survive because I know so many people have been hit hard. I've had firms in my community, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a month recurring revenue get crushed. You know, if you're focused on a niche like restaurants or some of these guys like dentists, there's some horror stories out there. But even if you haven't had a massive decrease in sales, how do we start to pivot and provide advisory services to people during this whole coronavirus crisis? And so, you know, I call it our wartime response plan for tax and accounting firms. And I would say, you know, we're finishing up our surveys right now, but it looks like we're, we've helped about 2,500 business owners through this. We're on a mission to basically help 10,000 business owners, their families, their employees get through this thing with all the different advisory services that all of our uh, firms are offering. And so, you know, this kind of started back in middle of March when my clients, my clients are tax and accounting firms, and we help them with a variety of different programs, started getting messages like this, right? So client would email Joel, Joel's one of my clients, they would say, hey, and he messaged me, he said, Andrew, a restaurant client is asking for a discount on his monthly accounting due to coronavirus affecting his sales. He's currently paying 1200 bucks a month, what do I do? And we started to see that all across the board. You know, you can see here, this is one of my clients as well, where she had four clients, 1800 a month, 800 bucks a month, 900 a month, 750 bucks a month canceling. One of them had 100% revenue loss, another 100% revenue loss, another one nothing, another partial, and we started adding it up. Okay, so the first month, she's got, 4250 that she's losing in MRR, right? 8500 after that and over the course of a year 51,000. And so that was four clients just in the first month and you know it got even worse. So over 12 months that's 51,000 just for that batch. It's going to be worse. You know, if you haven't had clients cancel and I think a lot of people are in denial. I hear some, yeah, y'all, well, I haven't had anything yet or oh somebody went on a pause. I tell you right now, people pausing, they're going on cancel, okay? The pain is coming. I have a client who in 2007 did uh, 1.5 million in sales, 2009 did 300,000. If you don't think that that could happen to you, you're not paying attention. You know, this is a serious situation. And so, you know, we don't know how long this crisis is going to last. And that's a big part of what makes this thing so difficult. The uncertainty of not really knowing when it's going to end. But while we don't really know when it's going to end, here's a little bit of a framework to think about like the next three, six, nine, 12, 24 months. And, you know, I know I've got, I've got people in my community that say, oh, the virus is fake and we all need to go outside and start kissing each other. And then I got people on the other side that say, yo, you know, we just stay inside for 18 months. And, you know, I don't know. I'm too stupid to figure all this stuff out. But whether it's a big problem for a long time or not, I think the economic effects are real and they have real implications for all of us and for the clients. And so this was an amazing um, visual that was created by Morgan Stanley Research. And if you guys haven't seen it, it provided me with really a really good mental space to think about how long this could go or some of the key things. Now, this, this timeline could be collapsed by 30%. It could be expanded by 50%. We don't know, right? But you can see when are cases going to peak? When are we going to have trial results on antivirals? When is the testing going to come in? Um, when does wave one start returning to work? When does wave two return to work? When does school reopen? Is there a second wave? Again, no one knows what's going to happen, but they started kind of playing out how this could look. And I think if there's one thing that I'm pretty certain of, simply at just the simple fact that so many people have lost their jobs, and I'll show you that right now, these are the jobless claims. You know, they got updated today, 8.30 a.m., I, our team went remote on March 13th. The last five weeks, 3.3 million, 6.8 million, 6.6 million, 5.2 million, 4.4 million, 3.8 million people lost their job. You know. I don't think a lot of people are clicking into this. You know, we're all sitting in our houses here. So we, we kind of are sheltered from this. These are horrific stories 
likes of which most of us can't even comprehend the type of pain and suffering that has come and will come from this type of thing. Now, I think eventually things will get better. We'll go on. I mean, life will be better in the future, in my opinion, than it has been in the past. But this is a serious, a serious thing. So 3.8 million jobless claims this week. Over the last six weeks, these are the numbers. Okay, 30 million people have filed for unemployment. It's actually much more than that because I was actually, you know, there's, there's people that are calling 600 times a day to the unemployment office can't get through. You know, studies think real unemployment is about 20%. The highest rate of unemployment in the U.S. was 24.9% in 1933. That was Great Depression. It, this will be, in terms of the jobless numbers, bigger than the Great Depression, I would imagine, just on the pacing here. I mean, we're still at 4 million, almost 4 million jobs lost in the last seven days. And we're still in like the first month of this thing. Before this crisis, the previous record for people that lost their jobs in a week was 665,000, okay? That was in March 2009, a great recession. So we had six, we're at 6 million here for multiple weeks, okay? Only about 150, 160 million people had jobs in the whole damn country before this thing. Okay, so this is devastating. And by the way, I know some of your team members out there right now are saying, well, I don't want to work on all this. So I don't want to pivot. And some of you are even thinking that too. I don't want to pivot. I don't want to work on these other services, guys. You know, we are all in this industry, we should all, I, I've been telling my people, you got to be grateful to have the ability to have something to do for crying out loud. I mean, I, you know, so many people out there have just been completely blown up and they don't have the opportunity to pivot like we do and provide services. And also with all of the government support that's come out, and I'm going to show you that in a second, there's a lot of things specific to tax and accounting firms that I think we need to be helping clients with right now. But right now, 434 people have lost their job for every one person that died of COVID so far. And to be honest, I hope that the economic situation is always worse than the virus, right? That is my hope because otherwise that means the virus gets worse. But I think that, you know, this is a pretty, uh, the economic situation is even worse than the medical situation, you know, I, I would say at this point. And hopefully it does stay that way. Um, so I always think, what should you do? And what I tell my people is like, the first thing you need to do is keep your, yourself safe, right? So you got to keep your family safe from the virus. But then I also think, people in society. I don't know if you guys have been outside. I don't know if you guys have seen some things. People are getting a little crazy, getting a little touchy. 30 million people unemployed in five weeks. That's very, you know, to think that's not going to be something. I mean, you know, so there's the virus and there's also people. I want to be safe from both. I want you and your clients and your family to be safe from both. Then I think, okay, when there's this much chaos, there's going to be opportunity. And where are the opportunities to serve? And we've been looking at all sorts of opportunities right now. And so I know a lot of you guys have been thinking through this crisis and you felt uncomfortable to charge people. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna make the case here on one key point. You have to charge people, okay? And I know people feel uncomfortable because people's businesses are getting crushed and so on. But you have to. You know, many of you guys, and I've seen some names here. If you guys are on here doing two hundred thousand a year, five hundred thousand a year, five million a year, ten million a year in sales, you know, what? It doesn't matter where you are. If you're not charging, if your sales go down, you are on here right now. Probably you own a tax firm, you own an accounting firm, you own a bookkeeping firm. You're probably gonna be fine, right? Even if let's say you're at three hundred k in sales, your sales go down fifty percent, okay? You're at one fifty. You're not going to be on the dole. You're not going to be, you know, you're going to make it probably as the firm owner, but your employees are not. Some of you on this call have already laid people off. I know you have. And we have not laid anybody off so far. We've been fighting like hell to make sure we don't have to now or in the future, but this thing ain't over. I mean, it, you know, this is going to go on for at least 18 months economically before things start to rebound. And so if you think you haven't been hit, so I, I fight every day. You know, I've been very fortunate where I, I kind of take care of my personal finances. My wife and I got out of debt many years ago. We went through that Dave Ramsey program and, you know, we were very sort of prudent. Um, but I mean, I got about $100,000 a week of payroll. I mean, I can't make that forever unless we pivot and we make things happen. And whatever you're paying your team members, whatever you're paying your employees, I think you have an obligation to fight like hell through this thing and generate as much as the owner, as the owner, as the employer to take care of them through this crisis. And if you've already laid people off, what can we do to fight to bring them back on? And if you haven't laid anybody off and you've kept your team, great. You know, and I, I wasn't even planning on going over this, but, you know, I do share this with people. Look at all the firms right now that are cutting jobs, firing people during this thing. Look at this. These are all the firms laying people off. And it's going to continue. This is the best time to hire talent. You get to take somebody off unemployment. Imagine, imagine laying somebody off during the coronavirus. That just breaks, break, that broke me, this whole thing. So I've been, when I think about charging people during this time period, not even a small problem with it. Because every time you charge somebody, you're saving another job. Why are people getting laid off? There's no revenue. There's no sales. And so if you think, oh, I want to take care of this client, I get it. Well, charge them 1500 bucks, charge them 2500 bucks, charge them something small, right? But we have to charge people. And every time you charge people, you're saving the jobs of your team members and you'll be able to hire somebody else off the unemployment. That's the way I look at it. So if you don't figure out a way to grow during this period, sales could drop 40 to 60%. And if you don't believe that, you haven't studied history. I personally have met one-on-one -on -one over 7,000 accountants and maybe, maybe even 8,000 now over the last five years. 
And when I hear the stories of 08, I mean, this is way worse than 08, guys. I don't know if you guys figured that out yet. Economically, it is way worse than 08, okay? So sales could drop 40 to 60% in the next 18 months. And again, you're probably going to be fine if that happens. If you're doing 500,000 in sales, sales drop 60%, you're at 200. Great, you're not dead now that you might have some problems or everything like that, but your employees are screwed. And so every day, that's how I think about it. So we've been fighting for them and others who've been laid off and you know do everything that we can to give these people their livelihood back, their safety and security for their family. I mean, I got, I got people on my team have cancer. I got people on my team have all sorts of different issues that are, I got people on my team where their whole fam their family members got laid off. I know some of my uh, clients, tax and accounting firms, one of my clients, Jeff, uh, the woman at his company that works there, eight of her family members been laid off. What does it mean for her to keep her job right now? It means something serious, okay? So you know, so many people on my team, while they haven't been laid off, their family members have been laid off, they're supporting people. I mean, it is, it is a crazy time. And so how can we help business owners right now? Okay, this is, I know I'm gonna have to go quickly, right? I gotta go quick. Okay, here we go. How do we help? Okay, I think about it like this. If clients are doing worse, if clients are doing the same or they're doing better, we got all these categories, okay? If they're doing worse, they're gonna cancel tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll. They're canceling compliance services, but we can upsell them. We can upsell them on things that are related to this crisis. I'm gonna walk through those in a second. If they're doing the same, many of them are canceling compliance services as well. We can upsell them on traditional advisory services and some of them will pay for advisory services related to this for a variety of reasons, which we can get into. And then when they're doing better, and by the way, there's a lot of people doing better. There's people that have had doubles, triples, four X's in their business. You know, anybody in like delivery, my gosh, some of these numbers, it's insane. But that brings with it a whole host of other issues, okay? So they're paying for compliance, they're paying for advisory services, okay? So anytime I sit down with a client, are they doing worse? Are they doing the same? Are they doing better? I can serve them no matter where they're at. And I've got services and packages to do that, okay? And so that's how I look at it. Now, we've got three different service categories, and I'm going to show you here in a second how this works. First one is lending consulting. When times were good, everything was about the income statement. How do we make more money? How do we grow? Now it's all about balance sheet strength, okay? So we have lending consulting, then we go through and we look at legislation consulting. So there's already been some legislation that comes out. There's gonna be more. We also look at forecasting and cash management budgeting. I mean, if somebody gets all this loans and all this financial support, oh my gosh, what do I do? How do I extend this as much as possible? How do I do it in the right way and stay compliant? If they don't get the money, they need the forecasting and the budgeting even more, okay? So all of these three services are the things that people are willing to pay for right now no matter what. Once we save these people's businesses, and by the way, we've just been ripping people off other firms, like at a clip, I've never seen people so willing to change accountants because most accounting firms right now are flat footed. They're like, oh, I don't know. I'm drinking margaritas, ordering from home to support my local business. And they haven't actually pivoted and got into this stuff. And then they upsell them, right? And all the other services over time, tax prep, accounting, bookkeeping, CFO, tax planning, wealth management, all this stuff. Okay. So this is the client experience to get people out of this thing and to get them into other services and get, I had, a, I had a client I spoke to yesterday. She signed up 50 people on these advisory services since this thing started. That's a million dollar firm on the other side of this once their businesses recover. Okay. All chiropractors in her case. So I want to show you guys how we price and how we package this. And I don't know how many minutes I have left. I'm sure they're chatting me, but I don't read the chats. So here's the advisory pricing and packaging that you could provide. So I'm going to show you this right now. This is what you could provide to your clients. I'm going to give you the engagement letters for it as well. Okay. So here's what you would say to your client, Mr. Client, you're going to get a prioritization plan of all the relief lending and grant options. And we will go through and look at that and update. We're updating that all the time, okay? I will help you prepare at least three different loan packages that need to be submitted because you've got all these different requirements for all these different things. It's not just the SBA stuff, guys. There's other things out there as well. Assistance in addressing responses from SBAs and other bank lenders, support for the EIDL if they need it. All of that's included in that package. Now, we then go on to the legislation advantage, okay? So defer payroll taxes, the cash back re Rebates, employee retention credit, implement withdrawal of retirement, NOLs. So if these apply to their situation, we will sell them on that tier of service as well. And then we also say, hey, when the other bills come out, because we've already been following the next bill that's coming out on infrastructure and payroll tax holiday or payroll tax credit. And then also, okay, the forecasting side. Okay, so what can we do to address negative cash profits, cash hitting zero, no access to credit, cash management, forecasting, and budgeting, and I'll give you consulting with our team to walk through this and figure out how to manage cash at this time period, okay? So this is, you know, I, my clients have a deck that's, you know, 150 slides. Uh, we do one for this. We also do one for the forgivable uh, consulting where we go through and teach, we say, hey, uh, you know, now you have to get forgiveness. There's, I mean, if you, guys if you guys haven't seen the steps associated with the forgiveness of the PPP, Oh my gosh, that thing is a booby trap. There's going to be some horror stories coming out of that. So that's a separate engagement. But for most people that have never worked with somebody, this is what we're offering right now. And so these are the prices that you would charge to a business owner for relief lending, the legislation advantage, the COVID forecast. And these are the prices. They're one-time, hourly if we go over, 
and you charge these to business owners, get them on your team, help them through the crisis, okay? So I showed you this. This is the steps associated with the client experience for, for us to help business owners get through COVID. No, you can't keep doing what you've always done and expect to be safe through this thing. It's, it's, it's a dangerous world out there. And so I just want to show these couple of stories real quick, and I'll give you the engagement letters. One of my clients went through this, these beautiful stories. Andrew, thank you for everything you've done for me in this group. Thank you for your team being an amazing resource. This week has been the craziest week in my professional life. Watch this. Almost 40 Zoom calls plus service delivery, 13 hour days, not being home to put the kids to, get to bed, et cetera, but it's also been great. Before this week, I hated the camera Zoom presenting the sales deck, but I've officially been desensitized to it. Now that I've had a little time to breathe, drink lots of water, and she maybe had some wine, I've tallied the week. I'm just shy of 50,000 in sales. By Thursday, I was so over it. I stopped the full deck presentation, basically just started giving away free information, telling them how to do it themselves. They still bought. I'm I'm not sure how everyone else is doing it, but it made me feel like I was doing good at the same time. And I'm going to do one more here. I bet AA, that's Amanda and Andrew, are exhausted at this point. I am. We fielded multiple calls from clients. Service delivery won't be easy, but we're super grateful. If we didn't have this material, we might be sitting around all day glued to the negative virus porn. That's what we call it in our community. We call it the virus porn, also known as CNN or whatever they got on there. I can't help but wonder how many of these client calls were intended for the purpose of canceling our service, but instead we surprised them with our attitude, positivity, and action plan. The most incredible thing is to date we've had zero service cancellations. We had some that were on the fence, but we're thinking about it, but they paid us more now and we're working on the SBA loan process for them, incredible. And so you guys can get the engagement letters for these services. I'm gonna give these away to you for free. So if you go to accountingtax.com slash letters, you will be able to get those engagement letters for free for the relief lending, for the lending consulting, and the COVID forecast. Now, we do a whole sales deck, a whole sales presentation. It's 150 slides where we go through with the client. It's an education-based sales deck. It teaches them about all this stuff. And then it talks about, you know, I skipped you to the end there and showed you the secrets. But you have to go through and kind of talk to them about this whole thing, give them a frame of mind for the virus, talk about the services, all the steps. Um, when you go through and get these engagement letters on the next page, there's a way to apply for some of our programs. Um, you know, honestly, I think that it's not just me. I've got 38 full-time team members right now behind me. I've got a community of about 600 tax and accounting firms that have done an amazing job collaborating on all this. We're doing it by the hour. Um, you know, if you guys see like in one of my communities here, every single day, April 30th, April 29th, April 28th, 26th, like this is all the updates we do on a daily basis right now related to the advisory uh, services for this crisis. And we've been doing this for weeks, guys. We've been doing this for weeks. And it's, it's really just getting started. This is going to be something that's going to go on for quite some time. So let me check here and see. Did I, did I run out? Did I run out? I have you no ran, idea. You ran out. You hit the time, oh. Andrew. Thank you so much. You did it. Uh, accountingtax.com slash letters. And like I said, we're, you know, for everybody, I saw a lot of comments in here in the chat. If you have questions, if you said, oh, I missed the URL, uh, we're going to link everything up in the redemption page as well, which you guys are going to get after the summit. Andrew, Thank you so much for coming on. Really enjoyed the, the information. I know our community did. Somebody said, fantastic talking speed, Andrew. So there you go. We, yeah, you got a fantastic talking speed. Wowza. I love it, guys. Andrew. Appreciate it.